Hi, I'm Selena, and this is Food Smarty. We're going to do some really great um, meals here that are really smart about your food choices. So um, this meal's all vegetarian or really all vegan because we're not using any dairy or any meat. And um, this, you'll be surprised how filling this dish, this meal is. We're going to make three different things: a really nice cruciferous vegetable salad with some kidney beans, and we're going to make some cranberry brown rice give it some nice sweet flavor, and then a butternut squash soup. So the ingredients for our cruciferous salad that we're gonna make is I have some red Swiss chard. It's really great and tender when you eat it raw. I just love it that way. Some um, lacinto kale. This I like this. You can use any kale variety you find. I like this kind of, kind of sweeter. And then um, we're going to put some red onions and carrots in that, and then I'm going to make a really lovely, rich dressing, kind of like a green goddess dressing without all the junk in it. This dressing I like to make is really wonderful, and really, you can make amazing dress creamy dressings with any type of nuts that you like. I particularly like to use sunflower seeds. Um, blend it up and raw and in a dressing they take on the flavors of your other ingredients really really well and they're also really really cheap and cost effective um, so what I like to do is soak them for a little while while I'm preparing the other ingredients and just a little bit of water to cover the sunflower seeds and you don't have to soak them in water you know if you're in a real big hurry you can just put some water in your blender with the sunflower seeds and um, you know a little bit of lemon juice and some onion or some parsley, really you could probably just get away with doing the sunflower seeds, some lemon juice, and any green herb you have. I like to add in um, some avocado and red onion and make it like a little bit more zippy and that avocado gives it a really nice like kind of green goddess dressing flavor. So grating carrots is a really great way to in increase the amount of carrots in your diet. Um, you can grate carrots and just kind of sprinkle it on whatever you can. I love to just make a grated carrot salad and like put some mayonnaise or vinaigrette on it and um, eat it that way. But we're going to put it in our salad here and you just get your cheese grater here and you just kind of grate it up. It's nice because raw carrots just like the you know big chunks like this sometimes can be hard on your teeth and just like biting into it. Also, when you grate up the carrots, they're so much fresher and sweeter than if you buy those like little baby carrots. I find those kind of dry out. So grating these carrots are great. And like we said, it's gonna got all that vitamin A from the beta carotene, and that's gonna help with decreasing heart disease, increasing our night vision. It's also tons of fiber in these carrots. Okay, people probably never eat Swiss chard raw, but really. I mean, I love it cooked, of course, but raw, it is so sweet and so tender. And when I bought it, like, you can get those big giant leaves, like, you can pick out ones that have, like, the real big ones. But I picked out a bunch that had, like, a bunch of little ones, you know? And they were kind of falling apart, but they're good. So I'm not going to put the stalk part in there. Those you can save and actually chop up and fry, like, with some mushrooms. It would be really good with anything. So I'm just going to tear that off like I would lettuce. And this is just going to, this salad is, like, powerhouse of nutrients. Lettuce is great, but it can't compare to the nutrients in like cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, um, kale, you know, Swiss chard. Oh, I just love Swiss chard. So I've also got some kale here. And this kale also is really, really tender raw. It's one of the most nutritious vegetables out there. It's um, also one of those vegetables that's really um, important to eat organic. It's part of the dirty dozen which if you haven't heard of you can just google it dirty dozen and there's certain vegetables that are really high in pesticides because they're um, harder to grow or bugs like them a lot really <laughs> so kale is one of those you should always buy your kale organic got some red onion here and this is great because red onion is one of those onions that you can eat raw and like we were saying for onions you know they have their most potent effects from those organophosphates if they are raw. And those are just gonna they're inhibit bacterial and viral growth. So really great just all around immune system protection. Okay, and then we're gonna add our red onions. And then we're gonna add some organic dark red kidney beans. Um, you can get a can of, you can make them yourself, but you know, for a dollar and thirty cents, it's really nice to buy a can of them, and I think it's really good to buy whatever you can organic. 
the um, you know 30% markup is well worth the health benefits you get. And you want to rinse them off because you don't want all that salt. It's also important to um, read the ingredients because sometimes even if something's organic, it can have preservatives. You don't want that. Um, a lot of canned goods have preservatives, but even now, non -organic, some non-organic canned goods don't have preservatives, so they're not really necessary. You can preserve things just in salt, you know, in an anaerobic method of preserving them, just like when you can stuff fresh. So I'm reading on here, it says organic dark red kidney beans, water, sea salt. You just really want to make sure you don't have anything that says like sodium benzoate, you know, potassium sorbate. Basically my rule for that is if you can't imagine it growing in the ground, you don't want to eat it. <laughs> Kidney beans also help support detoxification in the body. Okay, so we've got our sunflower seeds and you know, I just kind of eyeballed it. What do I have, like half a cup of sunflower seeds here? If you want to make lots of dressing, you could make more. So I'm going to put that in there, and then I'm going to put in um, just a little piece of onion, red onion for a little zing. And then I'm going to put in the juice of a lime with some tanginess. Lime is like all citrus fruits. It's really high in vitamin C. And I'm going to add like a little handful of parsley. And then I'm going to do half of an avocado. And the other half I'm going to kind of put in the um, salad. You know, avocados are ripe, you want to pick out ones that aren't too soft where you can just push the flesh in with your finger and it would kind of like make a little indentation, but they don't want to feel like really soft and squishy. Avocados that are hard, you can buy those if you want to eat them in three or four days. Plugging in would help. <laughs> So you want to use a wooden spoon and just in case, like, so you don't, you don't want to hit it the blades with a metal spoon. And the technique for this is you don't want to, like, go down and stir because you're probably going to hit the blades. You just kind of want to, like, go back and forth, you know, at just the very top level, and that'll kind of help distribute it. I'm going to add a little bit more water here, and that'll um, make it a little liquidy. You just need to kind of look at it and eyeball it and, you know, see how this is kind of chunky. It's more like pesto. We want to have it kind of smooth and consistency of dressing. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little touch of salt. You don't have to add salt, but it'll make it taste more like a dressing you're used to, usually dressing. So I like a quarter teaspoon here of salt. You could do a quarter to a half teaspoon. In most dressings, if you're used to eating like dressings in the store, you probably want to add salt because otherwise it might taste really bland to you because those dressings are full of salt. So I'm just going to... Right. Okay, so we're just going to take this and the rest of our avocado and stick it on our salad. I'm going to chop up this avocado. You just can, like this. Avocados are super healthy. They've got a lot of fat, but healthy type of fat, which is really important. They've also got protein in them. So you could even put more avocado if you liked. And then I'm going to do, squeeze some lemon juice. This is just going to kind of tenderize everything. Make it easier to digest. Put that on that layer, and then I'm going to kind of toss it around and then get the um, juice on the kale and the chard. You can also kind of, um, if you want, rub it in to the kale, and it'll make it a lot softer. You know, a lot of people that do use raw kale and stuff like that. I don't always massage it like this, but you don't have to do that. Um, but you can if you want to soften it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just stirring this into here. We're going to toss that. We might not need it all. Oh yeah, let's, let's just put it all in. We just want to have it nice and juicy. Might even have to find a spatula. There. going to toss this around and this salad is so full of flavor I mean this is not like a salad that you can imagine you can find these recipes and a whole lot more at foodsmarty.wordpress.com or you can find my website which has a lot of information and it's a lot of delicious baked goods at food-smarty.com
foodsmarty.com and that foodsmarty, it's F-O-O-D-S-M-A-R-T-Y. Be sure to leave a comment or I'd really appreciate a comment um, and rate my video, that'd be great. And also be sure to subscribe to our channel and that way you can get all the rest of the great cooking videos that I'm gonna be doing. Thanks for watching and learn to be a food smarty.